Good morning, class. My name is Miss C, and I'm going to be your teacher today. You know February is the month of love, so this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Today, I'm going to teach you how to have a cop wedding like a boss. So for those of you who don't know, having a cop wedding is not the same as having a basic wedding with a basic person. Having a cop wedding is a huge deal, obviously. So today, I have one of my students here with me, helping me with the lesson. Get ready, because we're going to bend the rules. So instead of a basic white dress, the bride would wear their favorite color. Me personally, I'm a nonconformist. So, I never saw the appeal with the white dress. My favorite color is silver, so my dress is going to be all sparkly and silver. Then, to incorporate Year of the Horse into it, I am going to have some My Little Pony wings sticking out of the back. I know it would look weird, but the truth is, I've been a little naughty in this lifetime. So. I like to think that I can at least fly up to heaven after I die with those cute little wings, you know? Instead of a basic tuxedo or black dress suit and tie, the groom would wear his uniform. Duh! Because you just want to rub it in people's faces that a cop is getting married. Oh my god! Are there going to be bridesmaids and groomsmen? Of course! And they're all gonna be cops. What about the vows? Well, there's going to be a lot of singing. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna make him sing. We're both gonna sing and we're gonna have a duet singing with each other during the vows and We'll have a different solo song as well. Mine will be at the beginning, and his will be at the end, before leaving the venue. I can't tell you what those are. That will just ruin the surprise for the real wedding. <laughs> Instead of, you may now kiss the bride or groom, you would, you need one of, These, I call it the heterosexual wedding cuffs. Of course, you can't buy these in stores. You can't even custom order one. You have to paint it yourself. I used nail polish, but I think spray paint would be better because it coats evenly and is less sloppy. This is just a demo version, so whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. Anyway, the bride needs one of these. The groom would grab the red side when they announce, you may now cuff the bride. And of course, he is gonna have to cuff me with this red side. 
like this, then the bride, which will be me, will grab the blue side and they would announce, you may now cuff the groom and I would cuff him. The biggest challenge would be to see if you can stay cuffed together throughout the rest of the evening. If you can do that, then you can get through anything together. Marriage is supposed to be legally binding, and so are handcuffs. So, not only is this practical, but also classy. Is there going to be a wedding cake? A donut stand? A wedding donut? A wedding cake shaped like a donut? Yeah! This is the part where the bride gets to be creative and make a giant 3D cupcake that looks like the groom. It will be homemade so you know it will be made with love. Even if you want donuts, those will be homemade too. Remember, I got a donut pan recently, so I planned ahead. I'm ready for this. I know I can do it. Instead of wedding rings, what would you have? Okay, now I am not going to disrespect anyone's religious or personal beliefs by saying you can't have wedding rings because you obviously can if you want them. In fact, it's a free for all and you get to choose what you want. Besides, I already know that I need to go to Sandy's to get the ring I need to propose to Officer Charming. But being a nonconformist, me personally, I know I am not going to have a ring. Instead, I have a different idea of what I want, but I can't tell you about it because it is something that only Officer Charming will need to know. So, yeah. Instead of a limo, your ride would be a horse-drawn carriage or Queen Victoria. You get to choose. Now, talking and doing are two different things. So, this is only part one. If you want to see part two, this is what you need to do. Number one, help me find Officer Charming. Number two, watch part two, where we will demonstrate how to actually have a cop wedding, like a boss. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the audience at the wedding bells, won't I? And I said, policeman, take me to your lovely royal throne. I'll be waiting. All you have to do is come. You'll be the groom and I'll be the bride. Cause it's a love story. Baby, just say yes.